Prior to ASEAN, we had a situation where Southeast Asian countries were essentially uh, in either open conflict with one another or having very deep tensions and, and distrust of one another. Through ASEAN, we saw the transformation of a trust deficit to strategic trust, where the notion of having an open conflict among Southeast Asian states, ASEAN member states, become increasingly uh, 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 less likely. Now, ASEAN has been the subject of considerable criticism. Absolutely. It's got its detractors, there's no question. Mm -hmm. There are those who even call it a broken reed. Mm -hmm. How do you respond to those accusations? Well, yeah, I mean, throughout its history, um, the obituary on ASEAN has been written mm -hmm. many times over. You know, I mean, uh, immediate after the resolution of the Cambodian conflict in the 80s, early 90s, some began to ask, you know, what is the, the, the glue that binds ASEAN together? Uh, but ASEAN uh, always managed to reinvent itself, uh, finding a new cause to rally around. Uh, so it is an active passivism almost that we, we are saying uh, to the rest of the world, to the major powers, neutralize us. We don't want to be part of your competition, uh, opting out, so to speak. From that type of you know, very in, uh, inward looking, uh, don't bother us, uh, neutralize us, we saw an ASEAN that began to become more confident, uh, a very clear progression of ASEAN's uh, increasing confidence uh, in its ability to, uh, to uh, shape and mold the region's architecture. 